Okay. Okay. So here we are at um, the beautiful day today. It was just blowing like crazy out here yesterday, and it was almost so cold and so blustery that it was almost hard to stay out here and try to finish pruning. But where we are right now is we're in the Cab Franc. Um, we planted this stuff in 1997, so it's about uh, 14 years old now. And we've delayed pruning on this on purpose to watch the buds, um, kind of see what the growth was like, and, and uh, you know, we can't put the fruit back on if we cut it off. So the idea was, was to come out, watch the buds swell, and um, I've been doing that on Chardonnay, and on Sauve Blanc, and on the Cab Franc. We've seen quite a bit of damage in the later maturing varieties like Petit Verdot, uh, Cab Sauve, and so we went ahead and kind of cut those plants down and um, so we don't expect to get any fruit from those at all this year but um, i'm very very enthused about what i'm seeing now on the cab franc and uh, the chardonnay and the Sauv blanc so anyway what i'm doing right now is just kind of double checking on some buds and trying to we're going to start pruning this probably by late tomorrow afternoon or maybe the day after and i really wanted to get these guys figured out on where uh, where we wanted to prune and how we wanted to prune so it looks to me like if i had to say right now i'd still say we can probably get close to two tons per acre here and uh, that would be about a kilo and a half per plant for us, or about three pounds. And the density is three by nine, so we don't need to ask each plant to do very much work. Um, but we like to think that that's how we get good physiological ripeness, and it's also how we uh, think uh, we get uh, nicer flavors, is by not asking each plant to do too much. So anyway, um, some really nice looking little buds here that are really swelling, and as I'm looking more and more, I'm finding more and more of the bud swell which is very encouraging because I probably don't need more than about 10 or 12 good viable live buds on each plant to get us the kind of crop we need. And uh, if we have enough, we'll prune heavy anyway and leave more buds. And then if we have to, we'll just throw the fruit down. So at the end of the day, we, at, when we harvest, we'd like to think that there'll be a between 10 and 12, or maybe eight to 12 clusters uh, on each plant, probably primaries if we're lucky. And uh, we find that those ripen better and more evenly and they're the largest, and um, then they, they get ripe a little bit quicker as well. So anyway, really enthused about that. Um, it will probably, there's about five and a half acres of, sub, or of Cab Franc here, so I would say it's probably gonna take them a good week, maybe a week and a half to do it. The prune? Yeah. Cool. So, um, not real sure what else to say. I mean, each plant is so different. If you look, uh, one side of the arm is a little more viable or a little more active than some of the others. Um, and so you really, there's no rule or there's no recipe for this, so it's just like you have to kind of come down and just sit down and be patient and kind of thoughtfully look over each plant. And uh, especially on a year like this where we've got all these great buds, but occasionally we don't have as many live buds down near the cane or the, or the cordon as we have maybe up a little bit higher. Like here's a couple of good examples of some really nice live buds, but we also know we have good bud viability down here. So in this case, we'll probably keep a two bud spur, maybe a three bud spur just to be careful and be safe. Uh, problem is right now we're getting so late into the season, I wouldn't have done it any other way, but we're late into the season, so uh, as the guys go through prune this, they're going to have to be careful because they don't want to knock any of the live buds off because some of these are so, they're sticking out there so far now that if they got bumped they could fall right off. And then you of course lose your fruit and uh, your shoot actually as well. When do you usually start pruning? Well, we or would have that... pruned earlier. We would have pruned earlier. We like to prune as late as possible anyway, just because it protects us from spring frost. But, um, you know, now uh, it's just getting warm enough out here now that we can't wait longer. And so it's time to prune. There's sap is flowing in the plants. But I'm pretty optimistic. I really didn't envision us getting much of a crop this year, and I told people that. And now to kind of come back out here now and see that there's better bud viability than I, than I could find during winter is um, really very, very special, and it's cool. So we'll, yeah, I don't know, we'll see how it goes if we get through the spring frost season, but if we do, uh, we might get six tons of Chardonnay, and I would hope maybe three tons of Sauve Blanc, and here we might even get eight tons of Cap Franc, which, considering what it looked like um, in December, that's pretty nice. <laughs> awesome. So I'm very pleased about that. Awesome, well thank you, cool. Rick, I appreciate yeah. it. You're welcome, cool, yeah. This is my office for the